Let's consider a car going around a curve and we want to find the maximum velocity that this car can take the curve at without skidding out. Now let's say we know a few things like the radius of the curvature of the turn. Let's say that's 20 meters. What do I mean by that anyway? Well if you take this turn and you extend it as if it's a circle, well that will be 20 meters. So what else do we know? Let's say we also know the coefficient of static friction between the tire and the road is 0.72. We want to find the maximum velocity. Always start with a free body diagram and we'll assume a flat road, therefore the normal force is equal to the force of gravity or the weight, same thing. And then we also have the force of static friction, which brings it into a circle. And I'll write this here. We're assuming for right now a flat road, so no, no banks, etc. Let's go about solving the problem. Well, first of all, in the x direction, we apply Newton's second law, sum of the forces equals ma. And we only have one force in the x direction. It's the force of static friction. And that equals the mass times the acceleration. And since it's in centripetal motion, the acceleration is v squared over r. We can now plug in for the coefficient of static friction. By definition, the maximum static friction force is equal to, the, to mu s times the normal force. And now we need to know what is the normal force. Well, one can see that there's n the car is not accelerating up and down. Therefore, the normal force has to equal the weight. And the weight is equal to mg. Let's plug that in. So I have mu s mg equals mv squared over r. The mass cancels on both sides. And we can plug in our values here. We have 0.72 for the coefficient of static friction times 10 meters per second squared. And that equals the velocity squared all divided by the 20 meters. Now I will multiply both sides by 20 meters. These guys cancel and 0.72 times 10 meters per second squared times 20 meters is equal to 144 meters squared over a second squared, which is equal to v squared. And now if I just square root both sides, I get the final answer of the speed, max speed to take this turn at is 12 meters per second. And that's roughly speaking 25 or so miles per hour. Say greater than, well, it's roughly 25 miles per hour. Rule of thumb is a mile per hour is a little more than two times the meters per second.